to God in the name of Jesus. One of the powerful instruments given to us as children of God, it is called prayer. We have direct access to the throne room of God, making petitions, making supplication, making intercession, making prayers before God that he will have his way in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible is clear. It says in Proverbs 15, verse 29, the Lord is far 
from the wicked, but he hears the prayer of the righteous. Hallelujah. So tonight, as we are raising prayer, there need to be an assurance within you that God is hearing our prayer and God is answering our prayer in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Psalm says, the Lord is near to all who call upon him, to all who call upon him in truth. Hallelujah. He will fulfill the desire of those who fear him and hears their cry and save them in the name of Jesus. That is our God. Psalms 145 verse 18 and 19 in the name of Jesus. And the Bible says that the eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous and his ears are open to their prayers. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Today we are approaching God by prayer according to his word that he will have his way in our lives in the name of Jesus. Let this day be a day of divine visitation upon somebody's life by God hearing prayer, by God responding to your prayer in the name of Jesus. This is a day of prayer and we connect and pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Glory to the Lord. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. There is a scripture we're going to read here now as we open. Uh, it's Psalms 24, verse 7 to 10. Psalms uh, 24, verse 7 until verse 10. Hallelujah. Jesus is Lord. Glory to the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. As we're putting up the Psalms, I just want us to uh, begin just for a few minutes. Let us acknowledge the Lord. Let us acknowledge uh, the Lord Jesus by prayer, by appreciating him, by invoking him here and now by his spirit that you will have his way in Jesus' name. Father, we lift up prayer this hour in the name of the Father. In the name of the Son, in the name of God, the Holy Spirit, that in this day you will have your way on this platform, Lord, in Jesus' name, that your name will be glorified in the name of Jesus. Lord, that you will touch the lives of your people and show yourself strong on their behalf and move, oh God, in their lives, in the supernatural, in the name of Jesus. That in this day that our prayer, Lord, may be attended to by you and responded to in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, Psalms 100, uh, not Psalms 24, hallelujah. We trust in God for the grace to be able to pray. Psalms 24, verse 7 and, and until 10, it says, Lift up your head, O ye gate, and be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Verse 8 says, Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Verse 9 says, Lift up your head, O ye gate, lift up, you everlasting doors. And the king of glory shall come in. And lastly, verse 10 says, Who is this king of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the king of glory. Hallelujah. In these verses, verse, uh, from verse 7 going to 10, when they are talking about God, they are asking, Who is this king of glory? They say, The Lord strong and mighty. Verse 8 and verse 10, he said, the Lord of hosts. Hallelujah. They are portraying God as, the, as, as, as the, giving us the attribute of God as a fighter, as a warrior, not uh, as a loving father or a merciful God, which is true, the attribute of God to be loving, to be merciful. But in this scripture, they are giving us the aspect of God, the attribute of God as the man who come to fight as a warrior. And they said, the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. He means some of the gates to be lifted, to be opened up, they require fight. And they are giving us the image of God 
God as a fighter. Image of God as a warrior. Image of God as strong in battle. Image of God as the Lord of hosts, the God who command armies of heaven coming to ensure the gate are lifted. The gate are open. The gate are broken into in the name of Jesus. Glory to the Lord. So it's giving us the image of God as the Lord is strong and mighty. Not the heavenly father, not the merciful God, not the loving God, which, which are also the characteristic of God, but is giving us the aspect of God as coming to fight, as coming for a battle in the name of Jesus. Hence, when coming for a battle in the name of Jesus, hence some of the gates, they do not just open anyhow. Easily just like that because the, uh, you, you, you are nice looking. But they open because the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. He's the one backing you up. He's the one coming to back you up in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We're going to start our prayers on these scriptures. We're asking God, there are times somebody, they are standing at a door. Oh, Lord, why is the door not opening? Why is this opportunity not coming through? Why is this uh, in business, nothing seems to move? Lord, why in the career I have reached this level, the door to the next level is not opening? Lord, why is this not happening? Lord, why is doors for opportunity not identifying with me? Why am I not connecting to divine helpers, Lord? Why is the door look shut? We are in invoking God. This scripture is giving us the aspect of God as the Lord is strong and mighty. The Lord is mighty in battle who comes to ensure the gate are lifted. Who comes to ensure the doors are open. Who by his power and some of the gates according to other scripture in Psalm they are broken into so that what is yours is released in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So we're starting the prayer in the name of Jesus, asking God, let the doors of my breakthrough open in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, strong and mighty, let the doors of my breakthrough open in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, strong and mighty, let the doors to my divine, for my divine connection let the doors open to connect to my divine helpers. Let the doors of the ministry open in the name of Jesus. Let the doors in my career open in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, strong and mighty. May the doors in the marketplace where I'm operating that my business may increase and excel. Let those doors open in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, strong and mighty. May the doors in career, Father, open in the name of Jesus. That is the prayer we are making in the name of Jesus. Let the doors open. The doors of my breakthrough open. The doors of my business open. The doors of my ministry open. The doors, almighty God, for career to progress, let the doors open. The doors, oh God, for divine opportunity to come my way, let those doors open. In the name of Jesus. Lord, let the doors to my next level open. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, strong and mighty. May doors open in the name of Jesus. Doors to connect to my divine helpers. Divine helpers. May those doors open. Let them be lifted. Any door that is enduring, by the word everlasting, it means an enduring door. A door that is there and doesn't want to open. And in your own strength, you will not open. Hence, we are calling upon the Lord. Strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle, that the doors to open in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I want us to begin to pray in Jesus' name. Please follow and make this declaration as your own and declare, O oh Lord, strong and mighty, 
Let the doors of my breakthrough open in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, strong and mighty, let the doors of my breakthrough, of my business, of my career, open in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, strong and mighty, let the doors for my next level open in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, strong and mighty, let the doors of my breakthrough open in the name of Jesus. I want you to begin to pray. Lift up prayer. Lift up prayer where you are and pray. Let the doors open by the hand of the Lord, by the power of God in the name of Jesus. Father, we lift up prayer at this hour in the name of Jesus. And I ask your mighty God that the doors, oh Lord, to somebody's breakthrough to open in the mighty name of Jesus, son of the living God. That the doors, oh Lord, to somebody's career to begin to progress, to go to the next level, to your, for their promotion to manifest in the name of Jesus. So we pray yet today, let the doors open in the mighty name of Jesus, son of the living God. Oh, Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus that you, O Lord, the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Oh, let the door begin to open for your people. Door, oh God, that will cause them to be connected to their divine helpers, divine helper, divine opportunity that the doors by the hand of the Lord strong and mighty begin to open in the mighty name of Jesus, Son of the living God. Father, we're lifting up prayer at this hour, asking you in the name of Jesus that doors for somebody mighty God to be connected to their divine helpers, let those doors open in the mighty name of Jesus, Son of the living God. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, let the doors Everlasting doors, enduring doors, doors that has been there and no one to open. We ask the God of heaven, the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle, that the door begin to open in the mighty name of Jesus, that the door begin to open. In the mighty name of Jesus, that the door for somebody's marital destiny to be established. Oh Lord, strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle, may the door begin to open. In the mighty name of Jesus, Son of the living God, we give you the praise, O oh Lord. We give you the glory, O oh Lord, for you open and no one can shut. Hence, we appeal to you, O oh Lord, the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle, the Lord of hosts, the King of glory, by your strong hand, by your outstretched arm, may doors begin to open for your people in the mighty name of Jesus, Son of the living God. May door begin to open in the career of your people for their next level, for their promotion, Lord, in the name of Jesus. May doors for ministry open for the increase, Almighty God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Son of the living God. For all, for increase, for growth, let the door open, swing open, doors in the north, doors in in the east, uh, those in the south, uh, those in the west, to swing open by the power of God in the mighty name of Jesus, Son of the living God. Oh, Father, we give you the praise. We give you glory. Let somebody's doors, Lord, for in for their marriage to be established, for them to be located. Let Doors begin to open in the mighty name of Jesus, Son of the living God. Lord, we appeal to you by your strong hand, by your outstretched arm, by, oh, by your power that 
doors begin to open in the mighty name of Jesus, Son of the Living God. Let somebody's, oh God, business begin to increase in the name of Jesus. As the door in the marketplace, they are opening. As the door of opportunity in the marketplace are opening. In the name of Jesus, Son of the Living God. Let all Lord go to Sakaraba. Let the doors of the city open that the word of the Lord may spread abroad, drawing lives into the house of God for their salvation, for their healing, for their revival, for their deliverance. In the name of Jesus, let the doors of the city, of the nation, open that the word of the Lord may spread abroad, thereby drawing lives into the kingdom of God for their salvation, for their awakening, for their impartation in prayer, in spiritual truth, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, Sakaraba. Father, we are praying in the mighty name of Jesus that the doors, oh, in the name of Jesus, we're still on the matter of the doors. I want us to pray that the doors in the city, the doors in the nation will open and the word of the Lord will spread abroad. The undiluted word of God will spread abroad for the salvation of many, for the healing of many, for the revival of many, for deliverance of many lives and families in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let the door, please up, uh, pray that the doors, the gate in the city, in the nation will open and the word of the Lord will spread abroad, thereby bringing salvation, healing for people, deliverance for people, restoration of families, healing upon marriages in the name of Jesus, healing upon marriages, that the word of the Lord will spread abroad, bringing increase into the kingdom of God in the name of Jesus. This is a serious intercessory prayer. I want you to pray according to this word, Psalms 24, verse 7 to 10, that the everlasting door, the gate in the city, in the nation, will open in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us, to, let us pray, pray, intercessory prayer, crying out to God in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, the Lord is strong and mighty, the Lord is mighty in battle. May the gate in the city begin to open in the mighty name of Jesus, Son of the living God, for the spread of the word of God, undiluted word of God, that may bring an awakening in the city. There may be an awakening in the nation. There may be salvation oh God that the kingdom of God may increase in the name of Jesus in the city, in the nation. Father we pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the word of the Lord spread abroad. Let the word of the Lord spread abroad. Let the word of the Lord spread abroad. Let the many come to know the king of glory Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus. May there be an opening the city open, the gate of the cities open, the gate of the nation open, the gate of South Africa open, the gate of Houghton open, the gate of Pumalanga open, the gate of Limpopo open, the gate of Northwest open, the gate of Free State open, the gate of Kazulu Natal open, the gate of Eastern Cape open, the gate of Western Cape open, the gate of Northern Cape open, in the name of Jesus. Let the word of the Lord spread abroad for the salvation of many, for the revival of many, for the awakening of many, for healing, O oh God, for healing, O oh God, for recovery, O oh God, for the healing of family, for healing in family. In the name of Jesus, let the gate open. Let the gate of our nation open. Let the gate of our cities open. Johannesburg gate to open, Pretoria's gate to open. Fehenaren gate to open, Bulukwane's gate to open for the spread of the word of the living God 
in the mighty name of Jesus, Son of the living God, that the gate in Rustenbeck to open, let the word of the Lord spread abroad, bringing salvation, bringing healing, bringing deliverance, bringing healing in families, healing in community, by the power of God in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, strong and mighty, mighty in battle, may the gate Oh God, in Bloomfontein, in Kimberley, in Dublin, open for the spread of the word of God. The gate, oh God, in East London, Port Elizabeth, open. Pen for the spread of the word of God. The gate in Richard P. Open the gate in Port Alfred to open for the spread of the undiluted word of God. For the awakening of many. For the salvation of many. Let South Africa be saved. In the mighty name of Jesus, may the gate in Ke oh God, in Cape Town open, open. This for the spread of the word of God, for the spread of the undiluted word of God, for the spread of the gospel of the kingdom of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, let the message of the kingdom spread abroad in Kimberley, in no oh God, in Rustin Bay, in Kimberley, Lord. In, in every city, Koto Sata, in Pulukwani, Almighty God, let there be an opening in Nel Spreit, in the name of, in the city of Bombela. May the gate open. Let there be the spread of the word of God, bringing an awakening, bringing salvation, bringing healing, restoration in a family, healing, Almighty God, emotional healing, psychological healing, healing in the body by the power of the word of the living God in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray. Let the gate open. Let the gate in families to open. Let family be delivered. Let family be saved. Let family be healed. Let family be saved. Families in the nation be healed. Your family be delivered. Your family be saved. Your uncle be saved. Your aunties be saved. Your parents be saved and healed by the power of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus. As the word of the living God spread abroad in our nation to bring an awakening. Oh Lord, arise mighty in battle, strong in battle, mighty in battle. The Lord is strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. May get in family lives. Koto Sata. In how may they get in family. Open in the name of Jesus. Let family come to the Lord. Let family come to the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Glory. Glory. In the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle is the king of glory. He is the one opening up. Causing the gate, the everlasting gate, enduring gate. Gate that are there blocking access for the word of God to spread. For families to be saved. For family to be healed. For family to be delivered. For family to receive. To experience divine restoration. Healing in family. May those gates that are enduring, blocking, be opened by the Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. That the doors will open. That the family will be saved in the name of Jesus. When we are making such prayer, hallelujah, for the destiny of many lives in this nation and for the destiny of this nation, does not mean God is forgetting you. That's where the power of intercession is. You are standing in the gap, appealing before God that the gate in the city, in the nation, in families to open that the word of the living God may spread abroad, bringing salvation, healing, deliverance in family, uh, salvation of, in, of people in those families, and healing, and drawing people to the Lord. When we are making that prayer before the Lord, your matter, your individual matter, is not being forgotten in the name of Jesus, but the Lord attending to it in the name of Jesus. 
Glory to the Lord. Making prayers before the Lord in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Before we move on to another prayer, hallelujah. I want you, this prayer, you are making it for yourself. In the name of Jesus, this prayer you are praying for yourself. We're still on the matter of doors. Hallelujah. Come time for you to be connected to your divine helpers is when doors open. By doors opening, it means access is granted. Hallelujah. In the same way to enter a house, you go through a door. To exit a house, you exit through a door. In a legal way. Hallelujah. To enter into a estate, you enter through a gate. To enter through a nation, you, to enter through a nation legally, you enter through a gate. The border post, or by the seaport, or by the airport, you have entered legally. Hallelujah. Physical. Spiritually as well, they are gates. When they are shut, nothing seems to move. Nothing seems to identify with you. Why? Because gates are shut. Hence, we are praying, may doors and gates open for you in the name of Jesus. That divine opportunity identify with you. That divine connection identify with you in the name of Jesus. So we're going to address the four corners of the earth. The north, the doors, and the gate for divine opportunity into your life to begin to open in the name of Jesus. The gate, the doors in the east, let them open. You are not opening them with your own strength. Hence, we are calling upon the Lord, the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle, that the gate in the east will open in the name of Jesus. The gate in the south, the doors in the south for divine opportunity, for connection will open in the name of Jesus. That whatever is yours, that is held up anywhere, anyhow, today by divine authority, as the gate open, let that identify with you. Get in the east, doors in the west, in the name of Jesus. Glory to the Lord, in the name of Jesus. Please, you need to mention the north, the east, the south, and the west, the four corners of the earth, in the name of Jesus. Let opportunity, divine opportunity, come your way. Identify with your life. Identify with your business. Identify with your career. Identify with your ministry. Identify with you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Lift up your voice and make this prayer. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, let the doors and the gate in the north open in the name of Jesus for my life, for divine opportunity in the north. Let the gate and the doors in the north to open in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, strong and mighty, mighty in battle. Let the gate and the doors in the east open for my life in the name of Jesus. Open for divine opportunity into my life in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, strong and mighty, mighty in battle, let the doors and the gate in the south open for divine opportunity to identify with my life in the name of Jesus. One more time, oh Lord, strong and mighty, mighty in battle, let the gates and the doors in the west open. Let divine opportunity identify with my life in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray and address the four corners of the earth. Father, we lift up prayer before you in the name of Jesus. We call you, we invoke you, the Lord a strong and mighty, the Lord a mighty in battle, in the mighty name of Jesus, son of the living God. Let the doors, karasataba, let the gate, koto sataba, let the doors and the gate in the north to begin to open for your people, Lord. Those in the marketplace, those in business, those in ministry, may doors open in the north, in the north, in the north. May the gate in the north, wherever there is resistance, may the Lord arise. Let the resistance be broken, be defeated. 
By the power in the mighty name of Jesus, Son of the living God, that the gate will open, that the doors will open in the mighty name of Jesus, in the east. Lord, we are addressing the east gate, the east doors, the doors in the east, the doors in the east, the gate in the east, every gate of divine opportunity that is closed. Oh Lord, arise on behalf of your people. Let the gate in the east open in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the doors in the east open in the name of Jesus for the work of your people, for their business law, for their marital destiny to be established, for the growth in the ministry, for the increase in the revival house. Let the gate, let the door in the east open in the mighty name of Jesus, son of the living God. Oh Lord, we, we are praying Koro Sakata. We are addressing, we will come back to, we are, I feel we need to address in the east, in the east, the east gate, the east doors, that they will open in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we are praying in the name of Jesus. We call upon the Lord that every opportunity belonging to your people that is locked up in the east, today by the power of the Holy Ghost, let the east gate open in the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost, let the east doors open in the mighty name of Jesus. We address the gate, the doors in the south by divine authority, by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power in the name of Jesus, by the power in the blood of Jesus, by the fire of God, gates that are locked up in the east against your people, doors that are locked up in the south against your people. Today, begin to open in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the door begin to open. Let the door begin to open. Let the door begin to open. Doors and gate in the east where divine opportunity belonging to Rachi, belonging to Emi, let them open Koto Sakata in the mighty name of Jesus, son of the living God. Any gate, any door where divine opportunity belonging to your people, belonging to the life of Sami, where gate are Lock doors are locked in the east today. Oh Lord, strong and mighty, mighty in battle. May those gates begin to open, may those doors begin to open in the mighty name of Jesus, Son of the Living God. Oh Lord, we lift up prayer. Koto Sakata, Yekete Makoro Yasata, gate in the south where you have to do business. Let them open. Let them open. Doors. Let them open. Father, we ask you, let them open. Let the door, let the gate open for divine opportunity to identify with the life of nobody. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh Lord, we pray. Let the gate, let the doors, oh, in the south begin to open. Let divine opportunity identify with the life of labor in the mighty name of Jesus, Son of the living God. Father, we are praying, we're lifting a prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the doors, let the gate in the south where divine opportunity belonging to Hillary begin to identify with her. Let the door open. Let the gate open in the south. In the mighty name of Jesus, son of the living God. Arise, O king of Israel, including the gate in the north, to begin to open, to begin to open for the life of labor. The gate in the north for business to open. The doors are in the north for divine opportunity to identify with you. Let the gate open in the name of Jesus. Let the doors open in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, arise. Kata, koto, sata. Make it a sakata. That the gate, the doors of opportunity in the west, koro sata, to begin to open for your people. Divine opportunity for your life in the west. We ask the Lord. On your behalf, as Rachi, that the gate and the doors in the west, they begin to open 
in the name of Jesus. By the Lord God Almighty, the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle, may he cause the gate and the doors in the west to open. Let divine opportunity come your way in the name of Jesus. Let divine benefit come your way in the name of Jesus. Let divine connection to divine helper come your way in the name of Jesus. As the gate are open, as the door are open. Let the door begin to open by the power of the Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we are asking... <laughs> That again, Koroya Sataba. We may not move to the next prayer, but we are staying here in the name of Jesus. This is destiny prayer. We are praying God's word, invoking him into our lives, into our situation. There may be movement in the name of Jesus. That whatever access is closed in the north, in the east, in the south, in the west, against your life. Today, by the power of the Holy Ghost, let the access be granted by the door opening, by the gate opening, in the name of Jesus. Lift up your head, O ye gate in the north. Let God people experience divine benefit from the north in the name of Jesus. Lift up your head, O ye gate get and be lifted up you everlasting doors in the south let divine benefit in businesses with divine opportunity begin to locate God's people in the mighty name of Jesus father we lift up prayer and pray in the name of Jesus lift up your head O ye get and be lifted up you everlasting doors and the king of glory coming, shall come in. Divine opportunity to identify with the life of Leseko in the mighty name of Jesus. Divine opportunity to identify with the life of Sunny in the name of Jesus. Divine opportunity to identify with the life of Emil in the name of Jesus. Divine opportunity to identify with the life of Nobathley in the name of Jesus. Divine opportunity to identify with the life of Hillary in the name of Jesus. Divine opportunity to identify with the life of innocent in the name of Jesus. May they get open. Kurosata. Lift up your head, O ye gate, and be lifted up, you everlasting doors, that God people's benefit, opportunity, locate their lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Locate their lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lord. When gates are locked, access is denied. In the name of And so we are praying that gate will open. Hallelujah. This is a spiritual matter. Uh, you may not see a literal gate opening. But spiritually, this is taking place. And in the physical, where you are being denied, suddenly you are being accepted. Suddenly you are being, you are start, you begin to find favor in the same place where it was hard. Things start now moving. Why? Because doors and gates in those places have been opened by the power in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Lift up your head, O oh your gate. This is a powerful prayer. And tomorrow, as is our day of prayer and fasting, that's what we are praying. Lord, let the gate. In the north, let the doors in the north open for my life. May divine opportunity that God has ordained for my life that are in the north, let them begin to identify with my life in the name of Jesus that we are, we are praying. And the doors and the gate in the east, any divine benefit, any divine help us of my life that are in the east and by but the door that are shut are making me not to connect with them may those doors be opened by the lord strong and mighty 
the Lord mighty in battle. It is war. Hence, he's called the Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. He is coming for war. Whatever is blocking you in one place. And say, this door won't open. That door won't open. That gate won't open. We are praying the Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. May the gate begin to open. In the name of Jesus. By the power of God. In the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus. By the fire of God. Every gate that is standing and, and refusing to open. May fire destroy it. The fire of God to destroy the gate. To open in the name of Jesus. What is yours has to reach you in the name of Jesus. This is a very serious prayer. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lord. The gate has to open. The doors have to open in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. People who are doing business, hair saloon, beauty saloon, farming, franchising, whatever type of business, consulting, we are asking God, may the gate in the marketplace, marketplace, place where you are doing business, may the doors in the marketplace open for my business, open for my life, open Pen for my increase. All pen for my business increase in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. People in the business, please let us make this prayer here now. Very serious prayer in the name of Jesus. And the Lord will respond in Jesus' name. Begin to pray. Oh Lord, strong and mighty. Because that's what the scripture said, the Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. He is coming and the gate have to open for your business in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Let the gates and the doors in the marketplace open for my business increase. For my business progress in the name of Jesus. One more time. Oh Lord, strong and mighty, let the doors, let the gate in the marketplace open for my business increase. For divine opportunity in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Begin to pray. Father, we lift up prayer in the mighty name of Jesus, Son of the living God. Let the doors, let the gate of your people in the marketplace begin to open in the mighty name of Jesus, Son of the living God. Let somebody's career, let somebody consulting work, let somebody's saloon begin to increase, begin to flourish, begin to progress by the power in the name of Jesus. We declare the gate are open by the power of the Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare the doors are open by the power of God. In the mighty name of Jesus, Son of the living God. Father, we pray, let the gate begin to open. Let the door it begin to open. The people in farming, the people in saloon, the people in franchise, the people with saloons, the people farming, the people looking for business contact, the people into retail. You buy in, in, in wholesale and retail. We are praying here for you today. May the Lord God, mighty in battle, Cause the gate and the doors in the marketplace to open for you. In the mighty name of Jesus, son of the living God. The people into cell phone industry. Let the marketplace, let the doors, let the gate in the marketplace open for you. In the name of Jesus. The people trusting God for career in, uh, promotion, for career next level. We pray here today, oh Lord, strong and mighty, mighty in battle. May the next level of career begin to manifest as the door are opening. Those in career open, 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 open by the power in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord are strong and mighty. The Lord are mighty in battle. May the gate of career open. May the door of career open. Open for Emil. Remember the life of Emil. May the doors of career for your next level in career open. 
in the mighty name of Jesus, son of the living God. May the gate and the door of career for God's people, for the life of innocent, for the life of Kinelwe, for the life of Sunny, for the life of Nangam. So may the gate and the doors for career next level of in the name of Jesus, by the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle, the Lord of hosts, the commander in chief of the armies of the Lord, whatever door, whatever gate is resisting your people and is shut, we ask you, O oh God, by your power, let the gate open. In the mighty name of Jesus, by the power of God, let the gate open, career gate open, career doors open. For somebody's next level, we shift you into your next level career-wise. Sunny, we shift you into your next level career-wise. In the name of Jesus, let the circle holding you in one place break by the power in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we shift people into their next level. We shift you into your next level career-wise. Be shifted into your next level. In the mighty name of Jesus, anybody could do Sakata. On this platform, your heart is crying out to God for a change in your career. We ask the Lord, strong and mighty, that the door of career open for you. In the mighty name of Jesus, that the Lord cause the gate of your career to open for the next level. Career-wise to open in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, glory to the Lord. The Lord is strong and mighty. The Lord is mighty in battle. That career doors open. And career doors to open in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory to the Lord. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. His destiny prayer. We pray as the Lord lead us. Hallelujah. It was two items we initially planning to focus on but we have just dwell on the first one and then time is gone in the name of Jesus we are asking God hallelujah please tomorrow as you are praying and fasting pray this prayer meditate on this scripture Psalm 24 verse 7 to 10 everlasting doors those that have been there and they don't want to open we are saying, Lord, strong and mighty. Lord, mighty in battle. The Lord of hosts may such gate, enduring gate, strong gate, stubborn gate that do not want to open. Let them be broken open by your power in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. That's number one. Number two, when we are praying for the gate and the doors to open for opportunity to identify with you, address the four corners of the earth. Gate in the north, north gate, north doors. Let them open whatever that God has ordained for your life and is in the north and is shut. We are asking God, Lord, doors to open. Doors to open. In the mighty name of Jesus, so that we may be able to connect with your divine helpers. Divine benefits that are locked up in the north, let them reach your life. Let them identify with your life in the name of Jesus. The same, we are address the east gate, the east doors in the name of Jesus. The same prayer, we're making it in the south, the south gate, the south doors, doors in the south in the name of Jesus. The same prayer we are addressing the east gate, the west gate and the east doors to open that divine opportunity may locate you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The reason you have to address this so that whatever is yours from all sides may reach you in the name of Jesus. We don't want to be only one side. If things are happening in the north, in the south, it's closed. In the east, it's closed. In the west, it's closed. We are addressing the four corners in the name of Jesus. That the gate, the doors in the north, in the east, in the south, in the west, will open. And divine opportunity 
I hope we will connect with your life. Divine opportunity will identify with your life. Divine help us in those areas will begin to connect with your life in the mighty name of Jesus. That word we are praying. Hallelujah. That is our prayer. We're taking it tomorrow. Day of prayer and fasting. Psalms 24, verse 7 to verse 10. Lift up your head, O ye gates, and be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your head, O ye gate, and be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. Selah. Psalms 24, verse 7, 8, 9, and 10. Powerful. As we meditate on this scripture and continue with this prayer, tomorrow, Thursday, a day of prayer and fasting, let the Lord cause the doors and the gate to open for you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And so it shall be in the name of Jesus because the Lord is strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. He's the one fighting for you. He is our God who never loses battle. He is our God who is the unconquered warrior. He is our God who is mighty in battle. He is our God mighty in battle. He is the man of war as I in Exodus 15 describe it. He is the man of war. When he comes into battle, he never loses a battle. So have faith in God. Call upon his name. Let him back you up. The prayer we have made here today, he shall answer. The prayer you are making tomorrow as you continue on this matter shall be answered and we shall bring glory to the name of the living God. For him alone, he is God who hears prayer and is God who answers prayer in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lord in Jesus' name. On Sunday, we're meeting for church 9.30. Hallelujah. Join us as we continue with prayer, as we continue to worship and, and hear God's word in the name of Jesus this Sunday. Hallelujah. First Sunday of October, and you have to be in the house of God to lift up prayer, praise, and worship before the Lord and let him have his way in Jesus' name as we order the month of October for things to work to our advantage in the name of Jesus. Remain blessed and preserved. Hallelujah. For those who want to sow seed or give an offering as we have made this prayer and you want to show appreciation to the Lord through your giving, the details are there on the screen. Hallelujah. For your giving. Amen. Father, I commit every life before you that you, God, who is far from the wicked, but hears the prayer of the righteous. Thank you for hearing our prayers. Thank you for hearing the prayers of your people. May doors and gates that have opened, may they see the manifestation of this in their individual lives in the name of Jesus. Thank you that the doors of of the cities of the nation are open for your word to spread abroad, for your work in this place to spread abroad, to bring glory to your name in the name of Jesus. Preserve the lives of your people. Preserve the answers to, their, to this prayer. Let them testify to the glory of the living Jesus in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen and amen. Remain blessed and preserved.